Hello my friends of Hattari Labs, my name is Ruth Montoya. In this tutorial we are going to do a site, a construction site, the watering system. Uh, we are going to simulate the effectiveness of a drainage schema uh, for the for a construction site and this is going to be done entirely in Tupac Cloud. So first I will um, I will do the exercise tupacloud.hatarilabs.com first we enter the website okay so we have we have our email our password password okay I here I have three projects and I think that with a free license you only have three so in order to create a project I have to to delete any of the uh, previous project and this is side uh, the watering my recommendation is that you uh, don't use any spaces and any kind of punctuation here or and then here is the watering seconds minutes and the epsg code is 32631 and then the starting date is 2001 okay edit first you are going to receive on the description of the video the zipped files and on the zipped files are side the watering chip file we have the area of interest Okay, and then we have three refinement layers where the first is a, we have two types of drain, drain by the elevation, that is when you have a certain elevation of the drain, and then we have drain by depth, and drain, drain by depth is really useful when you do regional modeling and then you want to simulate the water network. So, but in this case it's drain by elevations and it will be drains, and the on wells, this will be point well, and here on drain by and general head boundary we have a general head boundary okay the, we are going to work with a maximum zip size of two of six to two in three refining stages uh you can turn to one however we found some errors on fortran errors okay and we don't know exactly what when there so we have well whether we debug the Fortran errors or like we take two and I think that the resolution and then you will see that the resolution of the contours and so and the objects for example here you see the discretization uh, close to the wells is pretty good okay so with so we have a general head boundary because we want to simulate or we want to stabilize the initial head that is the water table is at an elevation of minus 2.8 we create our cell 2d and then we continue on that we have uh where well, those are flat raster files of model top then here we have four layers update continue and then here we can select bottom layer one bottom layer two bottom layer three bottom layer four okay we do save and then continue uh, we will have three stress periods the first one will last one day <coughs> multiplier one time step one and this is steady and the other will be to ah this is to this and the other will be from turn. And these four multipliers one time step and this is transient and this is Uh, the second and the third stress period actually last 10 days. Mm -hmm. 
And then the hydraulic conductivities for each layer are 0 0.0001. Convertible. And then 4 e 10 to the minus 5, confine it. 6 e to the minus 6, confine it. 1 10 to the minus 7, confine it. Okay, 1. Okay. And this is 1 10 to the minus 6, and this is 0 0.15, no, 0 0.2. Okay, so we have a, we are going to place the mold top as the initial heads as well. And the solver is, well, it's the same. And then we define the pumping schedule. So on the steady state, actually, it's not pumping. However, the depth of the wells is this. And then it's pumping one liter per second. One liter per second. And this is minus 0.1. And then it's pumping one liter per second over the third stress period. Okay, great. Okay, so this is uh, minus 18.1. 18.1 minus 0.01 minus 18.1. Okay, great. So now we have the two wells, and then because in this model we have wells, we have drains and general heads. So wells is already there, drains by elevation. The drains are active only the third in the third stress period, so the elevation will be zero and the conductivity will be zero, 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 and this the elevation will be minus 14.5, 0 0.001. And the same for the other one. A zero, 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 zero. Minus 14.5, 0 0.000. Great, so now we have the drains and then we had the wells and now what we are going to do is that we are going to define the general head. Okay, so the general head boundary is here. If you want to see, it's here. And it's as well in this part. So the head here will be minus 2.8 and this is active through the model. So. Okay, great. Great. You don't need, I mean, this model do not need recharge because due to the extension of the, of the drainage, uh, the drainage scheme is actually recharge and evaporation are not that relevant. So we are not going to. And once you have done everything, so you are ready to run the model, so you can create and run. Okay, so this is the flow pipe compilation, and this is the time step one, two, and three. And then I see that here on time, on temporal, on a schedule, uh, I would like four and four just for me. I mean, because I would like, since this, those are transient, I would like to use four time steps. I do upload, and then I go back to run, and then I run again. And it will say, okay, it has run everything. And now the balance uh, is there. These are the main the main inflow to the system is the specific yield, okay, of the production of the com the unconfined aquifers. That is only the first layer, as, as we have told you. And then the main um, the main outflow is the well, and then also the drain. Okay, uh, well, the discrepancy, because in the steady state, since it's too flat, and there are no, I mean, most of the boundary conditions are not active, like it will be, it will have a high discrepancy. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here we can see for the, for example, for the end, we can want to, the drains and the wells for layer one. 
So these are for layer one, but if we go for to layer three, where the wells, drains and wells are located, Okay, so the drains are in layer one. The drains should not be in layer one. Let me let me check the drains, please, by elevation. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's put the elevation constant for the drain. Okay, the conductivity zero means that the conductivity is uh, the conductivity zero means that the drains are not active and are active only in the last one. Okay, that when we go to the latest one to the layer three drains and wells, we see the for layer. One, I don't know why the plot is on layer one, but well, ah, because I have to run the model, I have changed, so I have to run the model. Okay, great. And now let's see my latest attempt to do it drain on layer three. Okay, now it's drains and wells are on layer three. Okay, great. So if we go to grid, these are our drains and wells and all, and all the drains and wells are located in layer three where the hydraulic conductivity is six to uh, six e to the minus six meters per second. So it's a low, well, for a granular soil it's a low key, a low key value. Okay, so we have also the water table, and then we do submit, and then here, well, this is for this, this is for the steady state. It's almost flat. I mean, you will see some contours, but it's flat because these values are goes from minus two point eighty four to, to minus only thirteen centimeters. Okay, but for the latest one, so you will have that it has reached minus a uh, minus eight point zero four. But let's see that the level that you have to drain the model is twelve meters. Yeah, so like you will be missing more wells, or whether you are going to insert more wells or like you are going to um, or like you are going to extend this drainage network okay or like the period where these those are draining those are drained okay great and then we have the water table and then we do a cross section Okay, here on the cross section, let's do a cross section <laughs> to the final stress period with the grid. Yes, and that's it. So here you see the well. There are many water tables because it creates a line for every cell that is intersected. Okay, but let's see that this is the this is the that this is the most interesting the, the one that is from our interest. Okay, so we are still we still need some time to uh, to um, decrease this level. Okay, so that was really a really interesting uh, exercise. We are planning to do a webinar about how to how to improve. I mean, how to get a, a factible um, how to get a, a real drainage schema with uh, PAM, with Tupac Cloud, with a more discussion on the boundary conditions, with more discussion on the water balance um, and other things. 
uh, thank you for following this tutorial don't forget to subscribe all the all the input files are in the description of the video and well let's see see you in another tutorial